there! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, with the fourth edition of Dr. Fountain Pens. It's a brand new pen, and hope you enjoy. Here it goes. So that was my daughter introducing this new video, and this is about Platinum Three Double Seven Six Bogonier. So Platinum is a Japanese pen company, and uh, this pen was uh, bought from um, Amazon uh, the outer cardboard box um, reveals a pen case this is a leatherite finish pen case and here you see the pen it comes in a small plastic wrapper then the user manual So here is the pen. Platinum 3776 century uh, pen comes in uh, different uh, variants and this one is particularly Bourgogne which is uh, sort of a burgundy color, uh, burgundy wine color pen. Uh, coming to the pen, uh, this pen is made up of uh, good quality acrylic and uh, it's pretty thick and sturdy material. So. The finio is rounded, the metal cap is attached to a circular ring just beneath the finio. The cap at the bottom has two rings, one uh, thin ring and the other broad ring which has platinum made in Japan 3776 inscribed on that. Then a small step down. This is a small cigar shaped pen so you can see the tapering a lower barrel with a small ring at the end and then again a rounded bottom this is not the piston grip this is not a piston filler pen it is basically a cart cartridge converter pen so opening up it doesn't take much twist to open and the um, the writing section has a small ring at the end um, these uh, uh, these lines do not come in the in the writing grip and the writing section also has a uh, pretty decent diameter for uh, and girth for to hold hold the pin the uh, nibs of platinum uh, 3776 line are 14 karat uh, gold nibs and at this cost um, barely any other company comes with a uh, gold nib pen mostly here we are finding uh, steel nib pens um, in this variety uh, in this uh, price range so this nib is slightly different from the other uh, the shape of the nib is different from other uh, fountain pens. Um, you would find the the outer outer uh, outward uh, tapering of this nib to be slightly more than the other pens, and uh, it has a small heart-shaped ink feeder hole here. And also uh, on uh, on the side view, you you'll notice that the the nib uh, has a slight downward angle, which is generally not with the other other pens, which I'll show you. It gives a slight bounce to this uh, to the writing experience with this, and the nib is also slightly flattish in appearance as regards the other. It is it is not as rounded as the other pens. So then the nib feed. Coming to the barrel, uh, on unscrewing it, you'll see a small uh, chrome polished, um, um, chrome polished uh, 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 ring uh, surrounding the ink feed system. The cartridge uh, I've loaded it already with the ink. Um, there is a converter also, uh, but it is shipped separately. You have to buy it separately. It doesn't ship along with the pin. So coming to the comparisons. This is a Twisby 580AL and a Sailor 377, uh, sorry, Sailor 1911 standard demonstrator. Um, if we compare the shape of these pens, the Platinum as well as the, the Sailor company have almost a similar design. Here you can see, uh, even, the, even the clip of the pen are also somewhat similar in appearance. The dimensions are uh, pretty comparable, although the sailor is slightly girthier pen. Here's for size comparison. 
the clip of this pen is also very good it is pretty decently strong to hold on to tight jean pockets or the shirt pocket so i've filled this pen with a yama budo ink pilot eroshizuku this is uh, a very unique uh, bottle design of pilot pens pilot inks um, it has a small um, bottom at the lower part so that the residual ink uh, gravitates down and while the ink level is becoming low uh, it will easily fill up the pen even till the last drop mm, not till the last drop maybe a bit more than that so coming to the writing sample again regarding the posting of the pen i am generally not posting my pens especially the acrylic ones because i don't like the pen getting all scratched up here and i even feel uh, don't feel the need to post this pen otherwise uh, there's no hassle at all it gives a good balance to that uh, slightly posterior tipping but then it feels very good in the hand even with the uh, with the posting this is a platinum century 3776 bourgogne in medium nib this is a 14 carat gold nib the ink is this is a usual photocopy paper a writing sample the writing of this pen is very smooth i'll just come to certain details which i think i should not skip um, as i mention things um, this is not <clears throat> a super smooth pen uh, when i i bought it uh, platinum is known to have a bit of uh, feedback but i found that the nib was scratchy a bit so i had to use my tools to grind the nib back to its uh, smoothness despite that while i'm writing you can you can listen to the sound of the feedback which is coming so uh, the nib has a bit of feedback uh, but um, you be prepared to to do some work on the nib before you start getting down to your usual writing i even um, got the similar color sm uh, the flex nib in uh, in fine fine flex nib and again i had to work a lot with that again that was pretty scary for me because working on a flex nib is not a very advisable thing to do but then i realized that platinum uh, nibs are not too perfect when they ship so we have to um, work around them to make them conducive to our writing so the current state of the ink is the current state of the nib is that it is uh, slightly more than medium wet i i i'd put it at say about um, on a scale of 0 to 100 i'd put it somewhere around 70 75 it's a it's a good good wet amount good wetness to that the pen um, writes in a non stubbish manner it's it's a good writing experience with this all the strokes are good in all directions even with the fast writing sample this does not skip at all uh, you'll also probably aware of the quality of the pen that it does not dry up very fast because it has a unique locking locking mechanism to the cap so after you after you close the pen there is few millimeters of rotation in which it sort of seals the pen completely 
and prevents the ink from drying up. So the pen does not have any hard stops. It does not have any um, um, any dry amount whenever you start writing with this. So this uh, pen I have in a few weeks back at the moment I bring it out and start writing. It immediately writes without even a single um, with, without even a single jerk. The the nib is not very flexible. Again, as I said, this is a hard hard medium nib, and uh, Pilot all uh, uh, platinum also comes in flex nibs. So the flex part I would leave to the flex nibs, and this I would generally not tend to flex a lot. The reverse writing experience with this is very good. I was very surprised with the way this pen writes in reverse. And you can see that even the reverse writing is pretty smooth um, with a decent feedback to that. And there are no um, there are no lags or no jerks or no hard stops in this. Overall, Platinum is a very good pen, but do remember that you'll have to work around with the nib. Uh, with your usual tools, I had to do tiny adjustments. I had to work around for the um, for the feedback. But then the nib uh, itself was pretty decently wet, so I didn't have to open up the tines for that. So with this, I come to the end of my uh, current review. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you benefit by that. Thank you.